Hello friends, Intuitive Renee here, bringing you your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 31st of July 2021. Normally I have the cards laid out, but because I am using the vice versa tarot, it's very difficult to lay the cards out because the cards have images on both sides. So for example, just to, to pick this one, this is the, um, the Hanged Man. So that would be what you would normally see with the card. And then if we turn the card over, it's almost like you have a different perspective. So it doesn't matter how you put it down. It's just a different perspective. So this is now as if you were standing in front of him. And that would be as if you're standing behind him. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and draw them on screen today because I am using the exciting vice versa tarot. So let's get into it. So I have the full deck here and I'm going to shuffle. And because we've got different perspectives, what I like to do when I shuffle this particular deck is I like to flip half of them over so that I'm making sure that, um, you know, sometimes we get the, the right side and the wrong side of the cards um, because each one has a story to say. Each one has a different perspective and something interesting that it may want to share with us. All right, so... I am going to stop shuffling in a second and then I'm going to put the cards on the table and we're going to draw straight off the, I'm going to cut the deck and then draw three cards straight off the top. So, right, shuffling is done. I'm going to cut the deck like that and we're going to draw three cards straight off the top if I can pick them up. So card one, two, oh wow, <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. All right. Let's have a look. I think I need to just adjust on camera. So the first thing I notice with all three of these cards that we have for today is that it's nighttime. Okay, we have got nighttime on all of the cards. Just in case you are interested, these two are showing us their normal sides. In traditional tarot, this is what we would see. And this card is showing us the reverse image. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's a fabulous, fabulous layout that we have. So let's have a look at this, friends. We have got the Seven of Swords. My understanding of the Seven of Swords is that some planning is needed, okay? These things that you want to do, these things that you want to achieve, these things that you have set out for yourself, but if you don't put some planning into it, if you don't put some attention and planning into what you're doing, you're not going to have much success, and you're probably going to have a strong likelihood of failure. So in order to achieve everything that you've set out for yourself in order to achieve everything that you want to today before you rush into it before you dive in and start doing stuff just take a minute to strategize just take a minute to plan take a minute to to think it through properly before jumping into action here we have card zero of the tarot it is the very first card of the entire tarot deck and it is the card of the fool but we're looking at him from a different perspective i just i am going to turn him over to show you so that would be the the traditional viewpoint where he's arrived at a cliff he's about to step off the cliff normally he has a little dog here with him that's trying to alert him to potential dangers but he's not looking he's not paying attention he carries his worldly possessions with him what he doesn't see though is that there is a little snake or something there with him as well and he has this rose or this flower of uh, um, purity with him so that would be the normal view but now suddenly when we see it from a different perspective instead of being staring up into the sky like he doesn't know what's going on he's actually watching a shooting star and he's making a wish okay he is making a wish on a shooting star and the dog is participating so the dog is not warning him the dog is, is has no fear that he is about to step off the cliff to his you know to his demise he's not going to be causing himself any harm or any danger the dog is very aware of that but the object of the object of the card is the shooting star the fact that there is hope the fact that there is you know his wishes are going to come true everything is going to work out exactly as it should be so from this perspective from this angle we can see more of what he's looking at and what he is looking at there are mountains and there are trees and there are so he's high up he's got a nice high vantage point to see far into the future far into the distance to see exactly where he's going so what he's doing, yes, he's embarking on a new journey. Yes, he's venturing out on new opportunities and new fields, but he's making sure that he's on track. And he's also taking advantage of pos positive opportunities as they present. So looking at these two cards, some planning is needed for today. Okay, whatever it is that you've got on the cards for today, whatever it is that you've got going before you rush in, take a minute to think, take a minute to strategize, Take a minute to, to plan what it is that you're doing and 
take advantage of any pos any positive opportunities that come your way. We understand that you are part way through your journey, and sometimes we have to stop and check in and make sure that we are on track and w walking in the right direction or heading in the right direction, which comes back to the planning card. And then over here, what we have is the gorgeous Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, enthusiastic, brave, courageous, um, excited, you know, but also very uh, practical. You can see now he's right down on the ground. He's standing on the ground. He's looking at everything that's going on around him. He's looking at that, that disc that he holds in his hands that is glowing like that. And that is what has his sole attention. So he is very focused on his task at hand. And his task at hand is to take that disc somewhere. Whether he's giving it to somebody, whether he's just keeping it safe, whether he's transporting it, that has his sole attention and his sole focus. So friends, today when I look at these three cards for you, today being Saturday, <clears throat> It might be a day of rest. It might be whatever the day has in store for you. A little bit of take a little bit of time to plan and strategize. Take a little bit of time to make sure that you've got everything worked out the way that it should be. Take advantage of good opportunities. Make those wishes. Put your intentions out there. Focus on the good. Make sure that you're heading in the right direction and stay on track. Stay on course. Don't allow yourself to get deviated in any way from what is important and significant for you today and if you are able to do that happiness joy success and your wishes will certainly come true with <laughs> with the shooting star all right friends have a beautiful saturday with love and blessings from my heart to yours until we connect again take care